Lake ice is never safe, and after warmer temperatures and rain, the Minnesota DNR is reminding Minnesotans to be care careful on the ice. Our Scott Sheehan has more on Baxter. December's weather has flirted on both sides of freezing, and adding some rain to the mix, the Brainerd Lakes area lakes aren't frozen as solid as they were a few weeks ago. And the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources is reminding ice recreators to be careful when they're going onto the ice. You can lose an inch of ice uh, overnight very quickly. And uh, rain on top of the, the ice really creates a dangerous condition. The water wants to find a way down below the ice and, and wherever that, is, that water is funneling into can really erode ice quickly. A tip from the DNR and ice fishermen is to check what kind of vehicles are already on the ice. As I see behind me, there is a car already on the ice, so it should be safe enough for me to walk. You're going to want to travel on known, on known areas. It always helps to see uh, other people doing the same things. Sometimes a good rule of thumb is if other people are driving vehicles, you take the ATV or snowmobile. If other people are snowmobiling and ATVing, maybe you should be walking. The DNR says coastlines and where streams and rivers flow into lakes are known areas for where ice can be the weakest. But that doesn't mean anywhere on the ice can't have a weak spot. Ice is never 100% safe. Wherever a leaf, you know, fell on the lake can be an area that the sun warms up first and can actually create quite a, a weak area in that. So any dark, you know, dark colored objects sticking on the ice can create a weak area. The DNR also recommends anyone traveling on the ice to bring ice picks and ropes with them in case they fall into the water. Scott Sheehan, Lakeland News. And for more information about ice safety, you can visit Lakeland PTV's Facebook page. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.